Is that a stinker? Kill me. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? See y'all back for another video. Try to sit down because I'm finna spill some more tea. <laughs> In Phoenix, you know, he's out there mask off, very, very lit. But, you know, I have to come back to the city that pays me. Oh, check out that view. Can you guys tell I got my taxes? I love you! Come and join your boy. Oh, we gotta make sure none of this is showing on YouTube. Oh! <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the title of this video. LGBTQ public figures. Is it a stinker? Kill me. <laughs> okay. London vibes. Ooh. I guess we can't get copyrighted for this, so I can talk over it. All right, guys. So, first and foremost, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking a little tired. I had some long nights when I was in Phoenix, and I had a fucking long night last night. And when I don't get sleep, it shows so don't be don't judge me don't say i'm catfishing don't say i look different i just i've had some long nights so i'm looking a little crazy all right i'm looking a little crazy just do me it's okay none of those sleep won't fix you know what i'm saying all right but anyways let me uh get to the point so you know i was start i started receiving uh gay attention if we want to call it that um i say probably like midway through my my first year of playing basketball um around that time i didn't notice right i didn't i didn't notice any of it um i didn't really care for it you know i didn't really make any kind of uh sense to me or i didn't really understand whatever you know whatever right but i guess once i got to this point i really started looking back at you know my influence and where it is where it is now and how it's all been going i kind of built this kind of um audience by accident crazy like seriously you know like i had no idea some of the things i was posting was going to attract some of these huge names that oh shit that tried to hit me up and i'm talking this is from my mid first year y'all and like listen i'm talking everything from dl guys like motherfuckers in the closet like i'm talking these are motherfuckers that like you would think yo this dude is this that and the third you know, he talk all that tough guy shit, and it's like, oh, he in the closet. So I can see why a lot of y'all would say that about me. Like, y'all would say, yo, like, Grandy's in the closet. Like, because, like, there's so many motherfuckers. It's crazy that you you wouldn't even think that, you know, that that's their sexuality, and they get down like that, you know, and they won't admit it. So, you know, a, a couple DL guys hit me up. A couple drag queens hit me up. A couple TS girls hit me up. Um, bottoms, tops, like, you name it, you know what I'm saying? Like, Big, big names. I know y'all want to hear some of these names. So let's go on over into the jacuzzi and we're going to talk a little bit. Dub and dub, dub in the tub, where you my slub. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. What's up, YouTube? Listen, that bathtub was immaculate. It was so popping. I was like, listen. We finna put this on OnlyFans, OnlyFans, OnlyFans. So that's why the video didn't continue um, from the bathtub, all right? So we'll just finish it on up from the car, all right? Okay, so listen. I know y'all like it messy. I know. I know you like it messy. And I like it messy too. I really, really do. But I don't really want to drop no names like that on nobody, man. I don't want to make nobody look like a bad guy. I look like a thirst bucket hitter. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's lame. So I ain't gonna drop no names, but I can definitely talk about situations. You know what I'm saying? And listen, I've talked to a few people um, that are interested in getting the uh, sex working. You know what I'm saying? Um, anything from the OnlyFans stuff to exotic dancing to private parties. You know, there, there's so many different things you can do. Um, and like one thing I always tell them all is listen, you're gonna be over sexualized. So anybody watching this right now that wants to do it, you're gonna be you're gonna be over sexualized, like because of what you're doing online, or maybe not online, maybe just you know, motherfuckers might see you um, you know, at your workplace doing your thing, they're gonna think, okay, well, this is what 
this person is like at all times for anybody. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be over-sexualized, bro. Like, that's going to happen. All right? So you got to have tough skin. Um, I'm not really saying that with any issues or animosity. Like, I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what comes with it. I can handle it. Grandy can handle that shit. I got y'all, man. I can handle that shit. And everybody can. Um, That's what I'm saying. Like, some of these conversations I have with some of these dudes, man, they, they assuming like crazy. They got these crazy assumptions about me. Like, yeah, you know, your place or mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfucker is just saying whatever, you know. Oh, well, you know. Um, Are you in a relationship? Because I'm not trying to mess with such and such and such. And it's like, oh, man, it's just it's crazy. Um, The assumptions that come with, you know, what I do. You guys feel me? So, like I said, anybody that's thinking about doing it, be careful. You know, some crazy conversations for real. Um, But I just want to let y'all know. Hey, there's some big names that's been hitting me up. Trying to, you know, do this, that, and the third with me. And I feel like I had to spill the tea right quick. Because I know, like I said, y'all y'all like that. That little messy stuff. So we're going to get a little messy. But not too messy. Because I'm not going to drop no names on nobody like that, man. I'm going to drop no names. But that's pretty much me answering to the thumbnail right there. Um, what I want to talk to you guys about real shit. Is self growth, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that some of y'all, you know, from my Instagram page are, are really leveling up, you know what I'm saying, in, in every which way, you know what I mean? And that's what you gotta do, fellas. You guys gotta be the best ver the best version of yourself. Sorry about that. You gotta be the best version of yourself. Um because y'all like I had a coach tell me, you know, a long time ago, and it's so true, you know, I'm starting to see it now, you know, anything that you're chasing. If you maximize who you are and you're on your purpose and you become the best version of yourself, it's going to start chasing you. All right. So to shorten that up a little bit, guys, yo, whatever you're chasing, if you focus on you and get yourself right, that's going to start chasing you. It's going to start being attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? But it always it all starts with you. It's self growth, self care. And I've been seeing that for some of you guys. So you know, I want to just say I see you. It doesn't go unnoticed. You know, I get text messages from you guys um, through my Glue Spike Glaze program, you know what I'm saying? And I love seeing the growth, you know what I mean? Especially in your, your health and your wellness, you know, that's very important. That's the most important thing we got, you know? You might as well just increase your lifespan, you feel me? Stay here a while. <laughs> you know, some of you guys send me messages on Facebook, on OnlyFans, on YouTube, um, in the comment section, you guys are real nice. Thank you. Keep commenting. You know what I mean? Show that love, like, on the IG. You feel me? Like, I'm seeing you guys. Not going unnoticed. I don't respond to everybody. But, yeah, I see you guys leveling up. Real shit. A lot of y'all are leveling up. And that's what it's all about. You feel me? Like, yo, we're getting out of a dark time. I'm hopeful. You know what I mean? I'm very hopeful that things are going to go to the way it ought to be. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure, you know, you're spending this time with your family and you're just working, fam. You're working. You're on your purpose getting to it whatever it is you know it's not all about the money all the time guys don't worry about the money and shit you know what i'm saying focus on just being the best version of yourself get your health right get your wellness right you feel me do what you love to do you know what i'm saying stay on your purpose whatever your purpose is whatever your grind is gonna keep you occupied real shit so yeah guys you already know take care of yourselves and take care of each other i'll be back with another video you already know let's look at this the splendid ass out. Damn, okay, what y'all gonna do? Yeah, Bad that's boys! That's, that's a good angle. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay, Ari Zoo. Mm, 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 for the back shot, for the back shot. Oh my god, don't get don't get us flagged on YouTube, bro. Don't get us flagged on YouTube, bro. <laughs> okay, next outfit change. Okay. What are you guys? Okay, bye. Uh, we'll be back with that new outfit. Okay, I'll see you. Yeah. Okay. okay, fit number two. Fit number okay, two, eh? Right? Two ideas. Wait, what? I have two ideas, okay? Okay. That one, I'm taking that one. I'm giving. Yeah, I'm giving that two thumbs up, though, stuff. Wait, but see, I said this is like a cute little, like, fashion over kind of top, but you know, I, I like, need some support. So. I kind of put it on over it to see if it will help me just show you it would look okay. And then I realized, I don't know how this looks. I like right that here. fit better than the other one, honestly. 
But do you like like do you like it enough for it to be a contender? For what? The other. Okay, the other option is I literally take that off, but then see what I mean? Yeah. So my other. Do you have a blazer? That's what. Oh, I wonder if it fits this way now. Let me show you the one I got from Fashion Nova. I was about to return. Yeah. That reminds me. Because look, if you have a red blazer and you put your hair in like a ponytail. Like a high pony with the extensions, that could work. Okay, I'll call you right back. Jilly just sent me a thing that they're on live. Let me jump on because this is gonna get me like a thousand right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, jump on Instagram live right quick. 